Oh my God, Love Your Lockup is back, you guys. In the new episode, the first episode was unbelievable. I don't want to waste any time, y'all. Here is exactly what went down. We got to meet all these new couples, and I want to start off with the first one is Deontay and Nicole. And for the love of God, this guy's out of his mind. I feel so bad for him. Here is the deal. Nicole is in jail. She was. She's now getting out. They met on some stupid pen pal site. I think it was like a year and a half ago or so. And okay, yeah, guess what? Shocker, big shocker. She's using the crap out of him. He's already given her like twenty dollars to $30,000. They've never met in person. And the funniest thing about this guy, I don't know why all these guys that always say, you know, I want to date a real woman and someone that's genuine. Those are always the guys that end up getting suckered because he said he doesn't want someone that's materialistic and he wants one that's nice. And she literally asked him for a new iPhone, AirPods, a bunch of clothes. She wanted a bunch of other stuff. And she also wanted $1,000 in cash. Like for what? So he gave her all of that. His mom ended up asking and said, how much money have you spent on this woman? And he said about twenty dollars to $30,000. Now we need to calculate this because he also told his friend that he's perfectly fine. He makes $24 an hour. And if we do the math, $24 an hour times 40 is $960 a week. So times that by 52 weeks in a year, that's $49,000. How Ever, we got to pay Uncle Sam. Now, Uncle Sam, I don't know how much he would get on that. Let's just say hypothetically, I really have no idea, probably 25% tax maybe. I have no idea what taxes even are. I'm a complete airhead. I don't know. Anyway, let's just say 960. Let's say he keeps 80% of it. That's 760 a week times 52. He makes about $40,000 in a year. And you're trying to tell me this guy gave 20 to 30,000 of that money to this woman that he has never even met. He's out of his mind. I feel so bad for this guy. I think it's going to get pretty ugly. So we got to see him talk about the two of them together, how they met and this and that. And the mom was completely irate. Do I blame her even in the slightest? Absolutely not. No, the mom is right. Moms typically, not always, but they're, they're usually, you know, right. They can see through all the crap. And the mom just said, what is wrong with you? She is not here for you. She wants your money. She's using you. She's scamming you. And that is that. This guy can't see it yet. I think he is going to eventually. But the funny part that I found very interesting was this guy was talking about his past and this and that. And he wasn't saying a whole lot of bad stuff. Then the mom just came out and said, listen, this just happened to you. And I was going, what just happened? She goes, he just got scammed by a different person in prison. And then that's when Deontay came out and said, actually, yeah, I was talking to another person before Nicole. And I was like, oh my God, what is wrong? Like, what, what are you trying to do? This guy by no means is not a bad looking guy. He has a good job. Apparently makes 24 bucks an hour, you know, pretty good job. Meet a woman that is not in jail. So I think it's going to get pretty ugly for these two, but we're definitely going to have to wait and see. So we saw them. Then we got it. Let's go through my list. Then we got to see um, Rachel and Doug. Real quick on these. Rachel seems nice. She's actually kind of taking care of Doug's kid, who's like 11, 12 years old. Doug seems out of his mind, a complete control freak. And the weird thing is Rachel liked that. So very weird. He wants to be like the manly man, tough guy. And I just like, whatever. So they seem weird. They don't seem like a good couple. Honestly, I just feel bad for Doug's kid. We didn't get to see a ton on them. The main thing was with, with the kid, it sounds like Doug, the, you know, the, the kid's name's actually Doug too, I think, Dougie or something. And it sounds like his mom, his actual real mom is also like put away. So it's, it's honestly, it's super sad. I feel really bad for the kid. I hope to God this guy can come out of jail, open his eyes, realize he has a son, he has things he needs to be, you know, responsible for. And uh, I just hope, I, I hate, I hate when this show brings kids involved because that just like melts my heart. So that, that, that honestly sucks. Didn't get to see a lot on them. I believe she's in Michigan though, which is kind of cool because that's where I'm from originally. So yeah, we got to see them. Then we got to see, ooh, this other guy, I, th I think her name was Courtney. It was Courtney and Josh. This was bizarre. She was working as like the person, the officer or whatever in his prison, like watching over him and she fell in love with him. Now she knew that it was frowned upon to date the prisoners and that, that it was not even allowed, but she didn't realize it was actually illegal. And she ended up getting caught and going to jail for like 60 days. Now she's on parole for like two years and she likely can't even, um, you know, have the guy stay with her because everything that went down. So it's a mess completely crazy situation. She apparently has been married, I think twice before. She did marry this Josh guy. 
she and he was not there though. It was a proxy wedding, which just sounds like, really? I think they kind of rushed it. I don't know why she felt the need to marry this guy. It's like, couldn't you have just dated him? But maybe there's more to the story behind that. It doesn't really sound like it though, but he's getting out. We did not actually get to see them together. He is now officially going to get out. Her friend had to actually pick him up because she's not even allowed to pick him up. It was, it's like, it's really a weird story. And so her friend had to pick him up. Her friend was gonna meet you know, her with the guy and it's just ridiculous, but she seems ecstatic. And for how excited she is, I hope, 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 hope that he's going to be as excited as she is. Then we saw Brittany and Ray. Now, okay, they met over social media, which I'm kind of like wondering, did, did this guy have a phone? Because he was in jail. He hit her up on Facebook and waved to her, and then she waved back, and they started their relationship from there. So I'm like, how, do you have a phone, like a cell phone? Like, how does that even work? But anyway, they ended up making, the, they ended up, you know, sparking up a conversation and kind of making this relationship work. They've only been talking for like eight or nine months, though, so it's kind of a stupid thing. Her parents are very affluent. They're very well off. Off. They do not, they, not, they, they don't even know about this Ray guy for one, but they don't approve of any of, and that, see, that was kind of, okay, this, this girl, she's like really, you know, good looking. She, like I said, she's well off. I'm sure she has a pretty good job. I, she, well, I think she does. She, she didn't, I don't actually talk about work, but she, she definitely is well off. And she was kind of being rude and saying comments about people that are in jail. Cause she was like, you know, my family, if you're in jail, they will never accept you. And I get it, I totally do. But uh, people can change sometimes. But this Ray guy, I don't think he's gonna change ever at all. Cause it doesn't sound like he, you know, it sounds like he's very, been in this lifestyle for a very, 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 very long time. And I doubt he's going to change anytime soon, but she ends up, she's going to tell her mother and her father about this guy in jail she's been seeing. They are not happy whatsoever. And if I had to guess, it's probably not gonna work. I think she is just desperate. She's in her early 30s. She wants to have a family. She wants to get married. I think she's just desperate to do so. I think it's honestly really stupid that she's, you know, defaulting to some guy in jail. It's like, she's a very good looking person. I believe she has a good job. She's put together. She does well for herself. Meet a guy that's not in jail. And so, yeah, I was just kind of like, this is just kind of stupid to me. It's like, why don't you just meet a guy? You have nothing wrong with you. You have no ties to this guy. It's not like, not, it's not like she knew him before he was in there. Just meet a normal guy that's not in jail. Problem solved, your parents will then be happy. And then there was Stan and Lisa. Now, I want to hear from you guys. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say with this couple. I'll, I'm just kidding, I'll say a little bit more. But Stan and Lisa, I desperately wanna hear what you guys think about these two. They actually met on basically like a sugar daddy website before she got you know arrested. They hung out a few times, they were hitting it off. It was fireworks, it was amazing. She's like half his age. Then she disappeared because she got arrested for selling Lord knows what. This Stan guy is like 65. However, to me, he looks like he's about 95. He looks so old. And his hair, what is going on? Is that real? Is it fake? Like seriously, you guys, what is the deal with his hair? I don't know what the deal is. I think what it is, is it might be real. Like it's either a toupee. If it's not a toupee, it's real, but he's probably going gray and he just dyes it black because it looks hilarious. So they're, are they a real couple? I don't really know, but I will say for these two, they actually did meet before she got arrested. They met not very long, but they did meet. Then she ended up going to jail and all that crap happened. So we're gonna have to see what happens. He was talking kind of like, you know, locker room talk with his other buddies who also look super old. One of the buddies kind of was just like, you know what, this is kind of cool and whatnot, but you're probably moving a little too fast and she could definitely just be using you. But this stand guy claims, you know, hey, this is the real deal. I love her, I wanna be with her. And it's like, really? He was definitely trying to kind of show off and have that boost, you know, he's got this girl, that girl is like, oh my God. It's like, seriously, you're supposedly 65, even though I think he's older, but he's like, you're 65 years old and you're tr still trying to show off and show about how many women you're talking to. It's like, really, Stan? So it was kind of funny though, because this, this Lisa girl actually did call Stan and she just said, listen, you know, I don't look the same. I look like my brother now, and so you're gonna have to deal with that. I'm just kind of like, what does that mean? And even Stan was kind of like, wait, what? And so it's kind of, I think it's gonna be funny. They are certainly not going to last long. I think the Stan guy, his wife did pass away years ago, and I don't think he's done having fun yet. And I just think this whole thing is just a complete joke. But maybe he loves her. He was boasting his net worth. Apparently he's worth 2.3 something million dollars. He's got all this money and it's like, really Stan, then what do you think this girl wants you for? But we're going to have to wait and see. Well y'all, 
I think that was about it from this new season. There are more couples that are going to be on, I think, but we just gotta see those. I believe that was it for now because we only have one hour episodes, which oh, I hate so much. Well guys, love to lock up and Tony, this is gonna be such an amazing season. It's already been so, 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 so good. I love this show so much. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit the comments below, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.